A Delaware family is poisoned by a toxic pesticide. They got sick while vacationing in the Caribbean on spring break. Now, their sons are in critical condition. The EPA is investigating whether a toxic pesticide poisoned them. It's called methyl bromide, a colorless, odorless gas. The EPA believes the condo below the families in St. John was sprayed with a toxic pesticide the day the family checked in. If the teenagers survive, we're learning the damage will likely be permanent. After seeing this story, a KCK woman reached out to us on Twitter. She was exposed to methyl bromide 43 years ago. And today, she tells KMBC 9's Haley Harrison how it left her in a coma. Haley? She spent weeks in the hospital, Len, and is still suffering the side effects today. Decades ago, methyl bromide was used as a flame retardant. Her dad was an off-duty firefighter working to refill fire extinguishers in 1972 when both of them were exposed. This was my dad's senior picture. When John C. Bloom bought an old tank and brought it home in 1972, he always wore this cross. He had no idea it was leaking a deadly neurotoxin. It's something that is just unbelievable. It's a nightmare. Like, now in her 50s, I I Mary Jane Green still suffers from tremors caused by her exposure. She was 13 back then. But her father was never the same, living with seizures nearly every moment of his remaining 11 years. He couldn't walk, he couldn't talk, couldn't use his hands. With another case in the headlines, the memories are fresh. It's very concerning that it's out there still. We don't, just don't see the exposures we used to. University and of Kansas Hospital is, toxicologist it, Dr. It, it's Stephen it's Thornton says methyl bromide is still used as a pesticide. We've used it for a long time. We use it to kill other things. Nobody really knows how it works 100%. An odorless gas that kills nerve cells and the hope of a full recovery. But even now, like I, I, I now I have rheumatoid arthritis. Green yeah, says methyl bromide killed her dad. It is only on a rare day that he could get to church. In those but last years, okay. she says, he found meaning in faith, reconnecting with God and his church. He said he never regretted getting a second chance to live. Now, fire extinguishers like this are safe, but starting in the 1920s through the 60s, methyl bromide was sometimes put into fire extinguishers. That toxicologist we interviewed today says he'll sometimes hear of an occasional modern day case of methyl bromide poisoning from someone who has found an old fire extinguisher out in a garage where it's been sitting and leaking. Reporting live, Haley Harrison, KNBC 9 News. Methyl bromide is approved for treating crops for things you'll find in your produce aisle, like strawberries. As a pesticide, the EPA banned its indoor use back in 1984.